The people police say are responsible for killing six people inside of a home at 21st and Wright remain at large, leaving countless family members mourning. When you heard what happened and you found out it was Caleb, like, what was that like for you? <laughs> um, I just don't understand. That's the only thing for me I don't understand. And One of those people praised Goodman, who said she met her younger brother, Caleb Jordan, later in life. The two shared fathers, and once reconnected, they quickly built a strong bond, a bond lasting for nearly a decade. When we were always together, we always talked about life. We talked about his life. We talked about our, our connection with our family, how our family is, you know. And we always said we love each other no matter what. Caleb was one of six people found inside the home. He was the youngest of the victims. Police say a welfare check at this house led to the discovery. Caleb didn't deserve that. And the person that I know, he, he didn't deserve to go out like that. Prey says her brother also dealt with lupus. He was fighting to stay alive and live a full life. She hurts knowing that won't happen because of a senseless crime. You're sick, like... How could you take somebody life like that? Like, you know, and I don't even know his last moments and I can only imagine how he was feeling in that moment. But how could you take somebody away that was so sweet to everybody and that was cool with everybody? Like Caleb's mother started a GoFundMe to help with funeral costs. Prey says she's glad she built a bond with her brother and hopes the people who took his life alongside five others are brought to justice. In Milwaukee, Tony Atkins, TMJ4 News.